The Gale Access Database Collection is a series of databases that provide access to articles and other materials available through one search interface. In this case, we have a listing of all the different databases, and you'll see that there are a number of them. If I scroll through, you'll see dozens of databases on various topics like communication, criminal justice, uh, history, literature, the humanities, science, uh, fine arts, health, medicine, etc. And what you can do is select an individual resource to search. You can also see that these resources are broken into types of resources and that they have sort of in-context collections, which are uh, general overviews within this category. So biography, global issues, it'll give you lots of different resources within that to provide some context for your searching. It, we do have some ebook collections. We have some primary source materials as well, but primarily these databases are going to focus on periodicals, which are magazines, newspapers, and academic journals. If we were to go into one of these individually, or again, from our all database listing, we can see that uh, we can select from here as well. Whichever collection we search, we're going to be able to have a multiple search options in, in front of us. So here we have a multiple boxes to type our keyword searches in. We can also tell it where to search. So if I know a brand name for a particular, in this case, this is an agriculture database, so maybe a brand name of a seed company uh, or a, a company name, I can search for that particular field. If I'm not aware of what those fields may be, I can just search for keywords. I then I can also limit to full text, peer review documents. I can limit to uh, particular dates or document type. Generally speaking, you're going to do your search this way. So I might, for agriculture, I might look for uh, soil uh, science or soil erosion, let's say. And I would do a search for my topic. And I see that I have 591 magazines. Some of these will be trade magazines, which are focused in on this particular uh, uh, occupation or, or uh, field, career. And then others will be academic journals. And then we have some books and we have a bunch of newspaper articles as well as images and videos. Under each of these results, we do have the option of viewing the full text. So in this case, we've limited to full text. So every one of these 665 results should be able to be viewed through this collection just by clicking on the title. In this case, I have an abstract. I'm going to scroll through this just to show you how long this particular article is. Uh, lots of different resources uh, listed at the bottom. So these are very helpful listings of articles. If I want to see the entirety of what's available to me, not just in full text, I would then get rid of this filter of, of full text that I placed on it when I searched. I can limit by publication date to the right, and I can filter by subjects or document types. So if I select on subjects within the search of soil erosion, I might want to look for things like runoff. And so I can limit to that particular section of those results. And in this case, I have 51 articles to look through at this point. That is a general overview of Gale One File, uh, or uh, Gale Access Database. One File is a, a category of articles uh, that they have available to you. Any different subject that you search should all search the same way. So it doesn't matter. If, in this case, I've picked agriculture. But if I'm interested in Gale One File, File Computer Science, I would select on that. And you'll see that I'm searching a different content or a different subject, but it's the same search interface. If you do have any questions about how to search this particular resource, don't hesitate to reach out to a librarian. We're always happy to help, and we hope you take care.